Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I am talking about Get Shorty Season number 2, episode number 7, Banana Split. This episode is directed by So Young Kim. And here we have a lot of things happening. Okay, we, we have we have Miles, we have Katie fighting over custody over over, over Emma because they're, they're because they're, of the of their divorce. And Katie does something that I wasn't expecting her to do. Tell the truth. And she confesses everything. She tells she tells Miles that he's a gangster. He tells Miles he's connected to the to the to the to the, um, to the cartel, and he's been shot a couple of times. And, and, and Miles can't do nothing. He can't do he can't do nothing. He's got to listen to her confess everything. And he says, "What? What? What? What?" So now he in that moment he realizes I just lost my daughter, and I can't do nothing to stop this because everything she's saying is actually true. And so now I'm screwed. But well, well then, then that he has his best friend Lewis. They're on the outs. They're, on, they're not on the same page because Lewis didn't want to be a rat. And so Miles kind of put him in that, that position. And so now he's kind of pissed off about that. So now that so now he not only is he losing his wife, he just lost. He's gonna lose his daughter. And and now also he's losing his best friend. But through the process, he managed to pick up two women. One woman who is, is married, but she's related. But she related to somebody who's famous, and but she's married. But he's sleeping with her, and then he has um, April, who's available, and he slept with her too, and she has feelings for him, but the timing is off, which is really messed up. And I kind of saw them. I actually kind of saw them going together too. But oh uh, well, it is what it is. And then you have Rick, and he's um. He met um, a new girl played by Heather Graham. She makes um, these banana banana treats, and because he's feeling well, he's he's scared of Amara. He wants to leave her, but he can't. He feel he's stuck in his relationship. He doesn't want to want to be in because because he, he, if, he, if he leaves her, she might kill him. And so he's trying to start something new with another woman, but at the same time, make sure he doesn't die. And keep his distance. And then he you know, he almost got caught, which freaked him out and scared him to no end. And so so therefore he had to break up his relationship with um his, his, this new girl, which probably could have got her killed. Maybe we don't know for sure yet. There, we haven't found the body, so we don't know if ever more found out about this because she's asking Rick a lot of these weird questions about is he happy and everything. And so Rick starts saying, "Yes, I'm fine." I'm happy. I'm perfectly happy in this, in this relationship with a, with, a, with a gangster who might kill me on a whim. Yay! I love you. Oh, don't kill me. And so now he's freaking out because he thinks that his, his, this new girl may be dead and a more party did it. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. I, I don't know. And so because of this, he's willing to work with the FBI now. He says, I don't care. More got to go down. She got to be stopped. It's because of the FBI... You got Miles constantly going to them for favors to make sure the movie gets made, and then they, they, they and then they don't like it. But then they actually see what they, what they, they read the script, they fell in love with it. They actually saw the they saw the person do the similar similar um similar photography. They, they love his work, and so they actually are actually helping Miles because they actually love they, they love the idea of the movie themselves as well too. Even they're getting bored. They get a Hollywood fever. Then you have Diego, who's um. On the side of of, of 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 Hollywood, and he's with their crew crew, and, and he came left because because Amora kicked him out, so he pretty much left his old crew behind, and so now he's with his new crew, and because of this, well, conflicts happen, and someone dies, and that even makes things even worse between Myra, Amaya, and um Amara and Hollywood. They already don't like each other from the beginning. They had a rough start from the start, and they actually start to make start to. Men some fences this episode, but things went south, and so therefore now things are back on the on the opposite sides now, which is really really bad. So overall, great episode. We didn't enjoy it a whole lot. I had a whole lot of fun watching. It was funny at times. I mean, there was this, this um mess, this mess, it's it just like um like you got the whole thing going on with um Miles and um Lewis, and now Lewis is now the manager. Of um, of of David. And 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 then because he won, he won first because the thing though, all he had to do was make David be part of the movie. But through the process, he ended up becoming his manager, 
and it was just hilarious. And then watching Miles and Lewis go at one another was very brutal. Also kind of funny at the same time too. It was kind of weird because it was, just, it was very awkward fighting between between them two. Because you got Lewis who can barely walk, still holding his own against Miles. But it was just just messed up. Because you like them together, you want to see because they're, they're best friends. They've been through a whole lot of crap together, and so have them on the outside between one another is just really, really messed up. So, like I said, overall great episode. I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying the whole lot. I don't know if that new girl in, in, in Rick's life is actually dead or not, or maybe she just, she just left. Who knows? But either who, that's that. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Get Shorty. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy having fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like, thumbs up, shaboom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.